Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. We just got a bunch of little quests from the pin board that I forgot was a thing that you could actually do, and our regular stuff, but I'm just here giddy over my plus 12 to hit with a magic longsword. Oh, we're just gonna wreck some foes very soon. So, I think we've got enough food. Let's get out on the road. I think the very first place we're going to go is back to KLM. There's a couple of things we can crack out there very quickly. And then from there, we can move out to getting on to the next part of whatever magic stone we want to add to our crown. So straight into a long rest. There's that guy in town who wants to talk to us over and over and over and over again. But we'll get back to them eventually, I guess. Yeah, Evelyn is casting create food and water, so we will always have enough food provided we have the spell slot to spare. And I'm going to be trying to remember to use haste with our new paladin weapon, because, oh boy, I want all the extra attacks I can get if I'm attacking with plus 12. So, there's a few things for us to do up here. There's going back up into the Sorak camp. I think there's going to be something for us to find there. As well as the Goblin Cave over here. I think they want us to find evidence of Goblin language. So, we can see there's an ogre over here. We're just going to go in, wreck whatever enemies we can find over here. I'm not anticipating too much trouble. There's a dire wolf. There's some others. But we're going to get into this pretty hard and fast. Question is, what attack are we going to get off first? Because I don't know that we're going to get multiple people in a fireball or similar. Ah, that was the moment to take it, wasn't it? That wolf might see us. Can I get you two in the same area? How about that? Did that get them both? Yes, it did. Lovely. Right. Three of them are surprised. Two of them are not, but that shouldn't be a problem for us. Just going to take a little bit of cover there. Bella, the bard. Well, we are currently hidden, which is very nice. That's healing. That's vampiric touch. We're not going to get to both of them with a shatter. So, let's just go Shadow Dagger. But can we go after the Goblin Cutthroat? Because the other two are surprised and much closer to us. There's nine psychic damage. And let's give Bardic Inspiration to Evelyn. Because Orc Scar's not going to need it as much anymore. Is the hope. That guy tripped. Shame for them. Right, I would like to get to a spot where I'm unseen versus this guy. And I can if I take a delicate route about it. So now we're going to attack with advantage. Plus 11 to hit. I'll do a little baby smite. That's 1d8 plus 8 damage. Just incredible. We can see there the glowing skins that is our target for our quest. But we've got a couple of enemies to get rid of first. Evelyn, would you please be so kind as just to stick a guiding bolt into them? Oh, and that's... Oh, it's not a crit, so I won't do this. You'll need to do better than that. 
little wolf friend comes over then back to our wizard let's just go well we're gonna have to get a bit closer i guess but that shouldn't be a problem attack there with a cantrip at advantage 15 damage very good Bella, uh, give this disadvantage on the next attack. Oh, that's not Vicious Mockery. It'll be fine. Uh, no need for more Bardic Inspiration right now. They are having a terrible time with their archery from far, far away. We're just going to smack the Dire Wolf. And again. That's battle. Simple stuff. Ogre. Oh dear. Yeah, that smarts, doesn't it? Alright then. What do we have for ring? The spell magic. Let's honestly let's just hit you and strike you ogre is now stunned taking all of the damage pass on that one very dead and it's just the cutthroat at the back to deal with as long as we've got line of sight shouldn't be too much of a bother And obviously it starts out being a bit of a bother. Uh, make them make a save. Disadvantage if you could on their next attack. You'll have to see it. Causing them to miss. No longer mocked. We are just going to dash in this general direction. Don't know that we'll get there before the ranged attackers do their thing, but you know, we can but try. Evelyn. Just make them make a save. 11 radiant damage is pretty solid. Uh, again, with the save making, because they have the extra AC behind that board and for us I could have stuck a moonbeam out there sooner couldn't I just viciously mock again and they make the save the butts oh but what a difference it wasn't going to make so you know no biggie now, they might an jump. disengage and move away from us, and we wouldn't get an attack of opportunity, but we'll be closer to them for the next round of attacks. So it should be fine, really. Come now, let's get this finished. Probably should have used more inspiration, if I'm honest. Right, they are mocked. They are disengaging. But they fell. So we can basically not not hit them. Good. Alright, there's 500 XP for us. Let's see what they had in their pockets. Not tons, but it's something. Don't think there are other new... Oh, there is another new container around. Is that room restocked? No, it's empty. Fine. Then... Back to there. You three. See if the ogres and the wolves had anything of value on them. Skins and the like. Nothing major. Clubs. 
cash, swords. And then we can check out this thing. Alright, we can return that to a quest board at any time. So with that done, let's get up to the inner fort. That looks... Is that a quest board or is that a delivery board? Yeah, that is not the quest board. That's fine. Then we need to get up into here. Can I fast travel there? I can fast travel here. That'll save us a few moments. Possibly should consider a short rest for Maestro's health. But I think we are grossly overleveled for this side quest. So, you know, these things happen. Kneel now, rise later. I think there's also something hidden elsewhere that we missed previously. Or if not hidden... Um, over a gap. Right. Here's the loot we're after. We find a saw, a calf, blade. And two assassins appear. Well, this should be fast. Where's the other one, though? Currently don't know, but that's fine. Give them disadvantage on an attack, please. Love to see it. Disadvantage there. That one is going to hit us. There's the other one. And that is basically a sneak attack with the extra 2d6 damage. But now, it's our turn. One of those. One of these. Then we simply get one magic missile in there and a couple over here. Good stuff. Evelyn... Just hit it with your big hammer. We still miss. Second attack, though. Oh, we missed that one as well. All right. Bella. I mean, there's nothing that urgent that we do, is there? What a hideous laughter. Yeah, that works. They're saved, but they missed their turning completely. And they are prone. We attack with advantage. And some light smiting. That's all done. So, more stuff for us. I will take all of that and then we could take a long rest but I'm just going to take a short rest for Maestro's sake mostly cool uh, we'll do one there as well because we can and then is there somewhere in this place goblin fungus that basket is unknown to us but I can't fast travel through here. So I guess we're doing the walk. So I will jump cut to the end of this corridor. I have miscalculated. <laughs> where are we and where did all these spiders come from? I just clicked it and was letting everyone run over. I was not expecting to be ambushed by spiders. Okay. In that case. I could please move that down, down. Now this will go round corners. The 
Let's try that. Alright, we hit two of them. Bella is incapacitated as she fell after jumping over this gap, it seems. We will shield ourselves from that deep spider. Uh, from here, we can't see them, and this one is right up in our business, which is annoying. Um, give me a second level magic missile here. Close. Not quite. Right, we move away from the tile with our friend on it. Got nothing to help there. We'll just finish this spider off, I suppose. Oh, I missed you. Where even were you? Oh, you're on the back wall. Well, that one's dead. That's good. Can I get over there? I can't. I could throw a spear at it, but I'm just not going to worry. Little baby one coming after Maestro. Bella is up. Hey, Bella. Thunder wave in that direction for me. Bye, spider. Love to see it. We can quite happily throw some magic missiles in there. Where are you attacking me from? Are you in the block? It seems grossly unfair. Um, where are we? We're over here fighting this one. Let's see. Can we cast Blight on it? Yeah, we can. 32, straight to dead. Uh, right, can I actually hit you? Seems not, so I'm just going to get to climbing in the general direction I want to be in. And we'll ready a melee attack on the offhand they come over here, but I imagine we'll be okay. Can I shoot you? Apparently I can. Can I smack ya? you? Lose. Apparently I can. Cool. Right, well there's an extra 450 XP I was not expecting. Is this like spider venom or something? It is indeed. Right. Party all together. We are working over to this piece of shenanigan over here. Unfortunately, we're so overleveled for this room that it's not a great danger to us. Now, I'm hoping that we have either the ability to spider climb over here. Okay, we don't. But we do have Misty Step. And in here, we find an unidentified healing potion, Emperor's Eye. Some recipes, a primed mace, and a magnificent breastplate. Then we're going to have to misty step back. Actually, if these three get out of the way, I wager we can probably just push this over to get back. Cool. Right, so... It's a type of healing potion we haven't seen before, evidently. Then we can identify it on our own person. I swear it said unidentified, didn't it? I guess once we picked it up, we identified it because we've seen one before, perhaps. It was only because we've been through here. Oh, we already knew what the breastplate was. I guess we've seen one of these before as well. Can you benefit from this? Nope, you're already wearing one. 
All right, then. I guess that's everything in here to concern ourselves with. I have no idea where else the quest boards are, but we'll probably be fine. Active quest, ancient knowledge. Ancient knowledge. Proof has been found that the presence of Temerian inquisitors near the tower at Kerlem. Return to the tower and search the library. Well, we're here. So let's go back in. And so here we are back at the Temerian tower where we saw our teacher before. Very interesting that with spider climb, you can literally run up the rope. But we're going to hop in here and see what new threats are presented to us. So from within here, it's going to be back at the library at the back of the place. Travel is interrupted by combat, no doubt. I could be really precious about making sure I sneak up on them, but really, I think we're going to be fine. Right, we actually cannot close this gap quite enough yet, so let's just dash here. That'll be fine. Sorcerer, Lich Touch. Chill Touch, that's the one. Lich Slap. Right. Those ones in the center are in for a bad time. There's two sorcerers this time. And that's a crit. But that's no good. Stay there. Good, right. Uh, as for us... I think I'll start here. And let's see if we can't thunder wave this one off a cliff. We cannot, but they failed the check. But they didn't get pushed off, which is odd. Uh, Bardic inspiration for Evelyn. Maestro. Very simple here. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. When in doubt, Impressive fireball. Move, my friend. Dead, half dead, half dead. Evelyn could do the same. I think instead we'll just drop one of those. Uh, no need for that though. Back to the top with the marksman. Doing a terrible job with that short sword. I will take an attack of opportunity. Again, harder. Could have smited on that, I guess. Uh, yeah. Don't know what you're casting, but I don't fancy it. Uh, let's just smash the one we're next to. Yep, that'll do a lot of good for us. Very dead. Go and threaten this marksman. Good whiff. Even better whiff. Right, what do we fancy from over here? A smidge of moonbeam. You know how we do. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Five damage. What a letdown. Evelyn, from here. Is it just the three of them that remain? It is. Let's help out in this fight. Good work. Again, terrible job with your sidearm. Nice move. 
Got him. I take seven radiant damage in the beam. Still don't know what the spell is, but I'm fine to counter it. We cannot... Oh, I didn't move... Oh, no, it wasn't our turn to move the, uh, the beam, was it? There's our chance to move the beam. Right there. We're just going to go with simple stuff. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. Wow. Too simple, apparently. Right. Anything I really fancy out here? I don't think so. Second level one of these. I just feel so flush for spell slots. Bit of light won't hurt. Good. One radiant damage. All right, you can cast your spell this time. We save against hold person. Love to see it. We're not doing anything because we can't reach them from over there. But this will be over soon. I go magic missile, but I fear shield. Advantage thanks to Guiding Bolt. A palpable hit. Four hull damage. Sure. Alright. Cantrips can do the job. Or not. Back to the Sorcerer. Eight damage. Got him. This guy not doing any more damage before we get rid of them. They are not long for this world. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. Great stuff. 812 XP. You're flying through it. All right, I think we have to get a book at the back or something. But we'll just loot all of this. Orc Scar. Man for the job on going and just grabbing all of the stuff. There's a pile of books over there. Perhaps that's where we should be focusing our attentions. Assuming uh, that is still empty. Chronicles of Inquisition. Return to a quest board. All right. Can we fast travel back to the exit? We can. Zoom, zoom. Maestro just insists on not complying with gravity anymore, apparently, now that he can spider climb. All right, so that's our side questing done largely, I think. Uh, go to a quest board. Go to a quest board. Old Danatar. Lord Danatar wants you to retrieve an item from the ruins around Adrastelius Fortress. I mean, the spell scrolls will be good. Return to a quest board. Galafin wants to talk to us. Where is this? The fortress? We long rest on the way out. Shouldn't be a problem. Because if there's anything there that's good, that's worth getting... Oh, it's the fortress of the shield, is it? If there's anything good worth transcribing into our book our spell book for our wizard, then I'd be happy enough to receive it. Berserker Brothers. Four Berserkers, four Dire Wolves. Combat is inevitable, but we are aware, so that's a good start. Please let our initiatives be good. They were not good. I was really hoping for some great fireballs over there. Where are these other wolves down here? Okay. Um, in that case. Oh, we have not managed to long rest yet. That is unpleasant. Oh, 
Oh, we'll park that there for now. Bardic inspiration. Yeah. Evelyn. Let's go Spirit Guardians. And we'll stand there. Oh, that's an attack of opportunity I did not expect. Good, okay. Now, if they want to hit us, they're going to have a bad time doing it. Oh, another wolf. Right, now we just have to make sure we don't accidentally walk into our own moonbeam. Because moonbeam will not discriminate. Guardian of Faith will. Oh, woof. But the moonbeam's a bigger problem. Let's just stick three in there. Oh, the, the moonbeam... Uh, the Guardians, rather, probably would have dealt with that. Seven radiant damage. Disadvantage there. Eleven radiant damage. And Spirit Guardian damage. Moonbeam is quite happy exactly where it is. Let's stick a shatter about... Oh, about there. You're not coming back. All right, we got one. You can have some inspiration. Not that it's going to help on nat ones, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. How about a second level one of those there? And we'll get a stun strike in there. They saved against it, but they're all getting pretty wrecked, really. Trying to decide where to stand here and there and anywhere else. Come on, enemy turn. You can do it. Rele reckless attacking. Alright, all the radiant damage in the world. They are also going reckless. We're going to manage to get some hits in, but we're going to hit them back very hard. With advantage, because they attacked us right like recklessly you're going for relentlessly we put in the last smite there because we crit so we rolled double the smite die and dumb wolves don't understand what moonbeam or spirit guardians are love to see it All right, what do we fancy here Honestly, I'm not super sure. Um, yeah, this will be fine. Like, after this fight, we're going to long rest. So, how bad can it go for using up all our big spells and stuff? Yep, well... Give them disadvantage on that. Against their advantage, makes for a straight roll. Are you still with us? That is a smidge of a crit, though. But I'm going to move that to there, which will be fun in a second. Evelyn, just hit that guy. Uh, very dead. Thank you very much. Where's the last wolf? Oh, it's right there. Hey, that was mine. Uh, 
Very good, very good. Direwolf getting hit by the Spirit Guardians. Finish that one off. I could see that it had 5 HP, so I probably could have spared one of those bullets, but you know. It's not going to be long. Excellent. Right. Stop concentrating on that before we die. Grab all of that stuff. How are we doing for XP then? All right, we still need 11,000 more to get to level 9. So even with those kind of 6 or 7 encounters for five to 700 apiece... We're still a ways away, but we can take a long rest, resume our camping, get back out on the road, and we'll see if we can get to the end of this road trip today. Evelyn provides food. Get some eggs. We are fully healed after our rest. You love to see it. get past whatever ruin this is at the crossroads. We got some angry violet. I guess I should think about crafting some more stuff. Oh. Well, that's unpleasant. I keep thinking to myself we can only be surprised once, but evidently not. But hey, we might be surprised, but we are fully healed, so what's the worst that can happen? That's it. If you guys all want to just come down to us, that will make this much easier for us. No, you're going to attack with short bows. You little plinky plonks. I guess two of you are orc archers, so it should be expected. Uh, Bella. Give greater invisibility. To Evelyn. And Bardic Inspiration to Maestro. Right, with our invisibility, we can attack at advantage. So give me a third level Inflict Wounds right there. Well, that was 78 damage. Right, over here. Uh, spot of Blight for you. Only 22 that time. We will block that against our friend. And then we'll get crit on the one that we don't block, of course. Right, where are we? We're here. If I can attack the eagle, I shall attack the eagle. A very dead. And we'll work up to those up there, I think. Come now. Your death is inevitable. Um, as for us up here... Shoot this guy. Or not. Evelyn. Same trick twice, please. Nice. 
Ah, must have hurt. Stunned and dead. Love to see it. There's just the archers left. Target is out of range for blight. We'll stand there then. That'll do it. Ah, oh, so close. It's nice that we don't have to concentrate on the spider climb. We did one damage with bare hands. Adorable. Alright, well, Bella can finish the other guy, I'm pretty sure. Super. Alright, we learn about eagles. We gather all of their stuff. Maestro, want to go grab that? What with your fancy legs? Oh, that was definitely worth it. And then just this stuff up here. Right, are we camping? We have the option to camp, but we aren't actively camping. But I think what I'll do is I will take 10 more plus one arrows. I should definitely divvy those up a bit better. But that is plenty of adventuring for today. We've got loads done. Don't know what it's going to be like when we get our rewards later. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.